Hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a game called My World. Now, this is an early access game by a company called Game Creators. It is, at heart, an RPG. However, it's an RPG that has quite a few little differences. Um, okay, that does bring that up. Just to show you here what we've got for uh, movement controls. But not only is it an RP R RPG, geez, me face don't work today, my apologies, but it's set up a little bit different. As you can see, this is where you start, and this is your hub world. And from there, you can access portals to go on RPG adventures. You can check out various guides, crafting workshops, creating quests, creating props, questing, combat, hub world. Wow. You can also create not only your own worlds, but then your own adventures and your own quests, and then upload those to the Steam Workshop which is what this portal's all about. So, as I said, at heart it is a very basic RPG, or at least the, the sort of the initial quests they give you are. Um, I would show you the opening screen, but <laughs> if you press any key, and I mean any key, including the one that lights up my software, um, well, <laughs> it immediately puts you into the game. Oh! Okay, I didn't really expect to uh, bring that up. Odd. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the workshop. <laughs> okay, that, uh, that explains why if you want to go into the main one, you go through here. And this will give you your choice of where you're going to go. Now, I've so far, I've checked this place out, the Void. Evergreen Woods. And... <laughs> Here we got a fella that seems to... Ooh, he looks a lot friendlier than the guy standing behind him. Check that dude out. So we'll check out the basic uh, kind of RPG-ishness of it first. Let's get rid of that to make this a, a prettier, shall we? So you to speak. A little odd, but okay. I can't even get out to collect me chicken eggs in fear of being set upon by the nasty skellies. Think they're coming up from that hill. Would you collect some eggs for me and me wife so we can eat tonight? All right, so here's our quest. Collect 10 eggs. Yeah, ooh. There's one right behind you here, fella. I think you could have got this one. Fairly safely. Not to mention, uh... You know... Oh, what'd you do, chicken? Yo, oh, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, maybe I got close enough. I hope so. Oh, there's another one. See, so basic controls. You have a whoosh. And a... Whoosh that are available to you as weapons. Now, I just received, I didn't even mention this, I was sent a press key by Game Creators, much appreciated by the way, guys. And this is sort of my first poke at it, other than a couple of minutes that I spent last night just making sure that it would run with uh, recording software, etc. Ooh, he was a little easier than I expected. So Tab will lock you onto the target. Well, we can see that here. Um, and then it's just a matter of right or left mouse click to swing away, swing away. Oh, we got uh, all the eggs we're going to get, apparently. So we can go back to this fella. Again, very, uh, very normal RPG-ish sort of stuff. And turn in our quest. So again, you to speak. Excellent job. See if you can find out the source of the undead. Complete. 
Ooh, I went up a level. Now, as far as I know, going up a level will simply boost your health a bit. So I don't think that there's any other uh, things that it does, as it were. No, there doesn't seem to be any uh, any other sort of even keys that give you interaction. Okay, so he wants us to head up the hill and find out what's going on. Well, that doesn't say much. Can I smack it? Oop. Sorry. <laughs> I just... Okay, well, apparently I don't do the chickens much damage. Uh-oh. There's another one of those boys. Again? Holy cow! But it still says we're level 5. Okay, that's kind of odd. Now, ooh, look, there's creepy eyes in that tree. You looking at me? You still looking at me? <laughs> Weird. Okay, well, I'm going to assume that this will take us to the new zone. So we'll quickly go in and check that out. seems to play fairly smoothly. There is a dodge mechanic and you can either, I believe it's set default to the control key, Whee! or you can double tap if you choose that in the options. The options are a little bit limited, um, but not bad. Now the big question of course, does this get us? used. Not really. Makes for some nice, uh, how about curtains? Nothing in there either. Oh, hi. <laughs> Don't mind me. You know, usual RPG. Reinforcements. I've been alone in here for weeks. Finally made it out. The evil is great in there, soldier. Be careful. Okay, I guess I do look sort of soldierly. So that's it, eh? You're not gonna really, uh, give me any sort of quest out or nothing? Okay. You're just going to tell me to be careful. Good luck. And, uh, don't eat no yellow snow. And, okay, that has no effect. I'm just checking. You never know. You might knock something over and it'll be of some use to you. Oh, this guy is not looking happy. And I don't like the way the end of his hammer is all, like, glowy and stuff. Does anybody else think that's a little bit suspicious? Okay, I'm going to activate a skill. My shield skill. It seems as long as you get that first hit in before they get to whack you one, that you're kind of good to go. If you don't, they will knock you down, let me tell you. And basically one hit later and you're wondering why you're so bad at the game. So, it is a little merciless that way, but if you get that strike right and hit them when they first show up, you know, and make sure you're facing them, because this guy doesn't care. He'll swing whatever way you've happened to be pointing them. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see that we're getting anything out of these. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Let's activate our thing. hits in before he has time to recover. Nothing. Alright. Up we go. Uh oh. There's another one of them guys running around. Ooh, he's got a big club, that fella. Ooh. Okay. They obviously cross paths at some point. So I'll have to try and pick one out. You. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Okay. 
Hey, fella. <laughs> hey, fella. Okay, uh, I think that has something to do with the fireplace. Interesting. It kind of sucks that it stops you like that. Not good. Not good at all, eh? Okay. Yeah, those don't even give you experience, so I don't think they're of any value. I'm just watching it goes plus zero when you hit them, so. And I haven't gotten anything good out of them yet, as far as I can tell. Ooh. Even that's destructible. Cool. slow to the draw, fella. Anybody in here? Doesn't appear to be. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't turn to face them. Yeah, I get killed. See, the... There's a real issue with trying to turn around to actually face things. <laughs> oh, good, just need a little head bobbing around. All right, so it's going to bring me back here, but I don't know. Did it repopulate? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. So I guess we can... Yeah, that's really not convenient that it comes to a full stop like that. <laughs> it's a little jarring. All right, let's see if we can go and... Uh... Now, you do have health potions. Um... I believe it's a space bar to take one. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, D, 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 D. Lock on, teleports, moves. Ah, uh, heal, alt. Okay, well, that's not that convenient. Yeah, I just let too many of them get around me there. I didn't see the other ones. Here we go. There we are. There we are. Well, I apparently made level six. That's a good thing. So how many dudes have we got here? A little bit of an assortment, eh? Saw another guy around there. And fully rested. Okay, we got a guy there and a guy there. And a guy here. Ooh, two of them. like some even nastier stuff there. What's this guy doing? Yeah, 
get to him. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Mess about. I'm a grave robber. You know it. I know it. It's a nasty business. We all got to make some coin. <laughs> okay, I dug up the treasure I was looking for. We got spotted. Would you retrieve it for me and maybe clear the yard out? Kill three wraiths. Collect a golden skull. Okay. Don't be surprised if I keep it for myself, though, fella. You know? Need some kind of throwy thing to get their attention. Yeah, see again, I couldn't turn around. Hmm. Come on. Fully rested, yep. Alright, let's come out of here for a moment. If we can. Um, no. Okay. Uh, well, that's a bit of an odd thing. How the heck do I uh, get out of there? Let's see here. Uh, teleport to checkpoint? No. Hero abilities. Move, roll, heal, use, sprint, attack. Well, let's see where this takes me. Oh, right back to the same spot, huh? Hmm. Because, yeah, it doesn't seem that I can exit out of here to actually go to... Uh, go back to the home world. Oh, I see H. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> I just want to quickly pop into that level editor and have a look. Alright, so here we are. And as you can see, you keep what you've gained in so far as experience and such. What do you want? Press I or U to open or pick up items. Yeah, okay. Haven't exactly found much in the way of items, but there you go. Maybe I'm supposed to press U when I come to those crates instead of smashing them. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Okay. Uh... Oh, here we go. There's not much in the way of... Oh. There's unfortunately... Okay, these appear to be terrain tools. And... Okay, what do we got here? Buildings. Let's have a look. Alright, let's say we want to place a small house. Alright, let's place a house there. Cool. And... What do we got here? Friendly people. Alright, let's pick an NPC, and let's put him there. Now, what do we got here? Game mechanics, nature, what does that give us? Oh, trees and stumps and stuff? Okay, what's this? Different walls and fences, collectible items, oh, I see. So you could do like, maybe... say put those there and then game mechanics what do we got we've got a bed we've got a campfire checkpoint I see all right we can look around we can zoom in and out all right click to sweat set quest <laughs> sorry quest all right collect those Five. Okay, collect five gems. Hello, adventurer. And then you can, you know, put in whatever you want. Like, please. I need my fat 
loot. You know, or some typical quest thing. You know, I need four bear asses, but I don't know how to bring bears in. And quest end, thank you, adventurer. Um, and you can do things like, let's throw a skelly down. So let's do that. We'll go done. Now, if we go to bad guys, we can find a skelly with a club. And... Let's put them over here, guarding these. All right. So, that, I think. Now, I mean, you can do other stuff as well. What do we got here? Uh, paintbrush, can I make this look like she's on a dirt path? Sure, look at that. And then we'll highlight this whole area. As, now we know that's our quest zone. We can... What's this? Not sure. Raise and level. Oh yeah. So you can bring some terrain into it if you want to. Give this guy a little pathway to get around. This is a smoothing. Oh, pick the height to use. Oh, press P to pick the height to use. Okay. What do we got here? Looks like some water stuff maybe. Oh no, this is a smoothing tool. Okay, and this, oh, I see, it's for building slopes. Okay, so that's good. Um, we can name the world. All right, and press here to finish. Oh, press enter to finish. <laughs> okay. Oh, we don't need that. Never mind. All right, so let's come back out of that. She's got her quest done. You're good to go. Terrain, nope. Okay, so hopefully. Dee 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 dee. We're wandering along in this really remarkable looking world with all this cool stuff and oh look, a house in the distance. Whatever could they want? Hi there. Hello adventurer, please, I need my fat loots. Quest kill one skeleton. Collect five rubies. We'll accept. Dun 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 dun. And Ruby up, Ruby up, kill the skeleton, Ruby, 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 quest ready. Now, I mean, obviously, this is very basic, but by the same token, think about it. That's the first time I've even ever looked at the world editor. And successfully created an albeit simple but created a tiny little bit of a world and a quest so that's pretty impressive i've got to admit that's pretty darn impressive wow we got 1400 experience for doing that Ta -da! we are now level seven so all of these things even count towards your experience that's very cool wow and then because we're done here Yes, we can return to the hub world just by pressing H. Now, as I said, there are PvP modes. There's all sorts of different things like that. You can host a multiplayer, invite your friends. You can join multiplayer worlds. All of that sort of thing. So, very, very cool. It was just released on Steam's Early Access this morning. Although, ooh, you get different characters you can select. Wow. Huh. Very cool. I guess based on what you've already knocked down or something. Wow. Huh. There you go. Oh, the guy with the broom and the pump and the bucket on his head. There you are. That's the warrior dude you want. All right. But there you are, guys. That's been our first look at my world. Again, a big thanks to the game devs for sending me a key. If you want to see more of this, let me know down in the comments. And, uh, well, 
This has been Species 7. With a little early access for you. By game creators. Take care of each other, folks. <laughs> Ciao for now.